Today I'm going to start a 30 day fixed gear commuting challenge, means biking to work and back for 30 days on a fixed gear bike. Well, you may be thinking, well, what's the big deal? Lots of people do that all the time. Well, I've never rode a fixed gear bike before in my entire life. And right now it's actually not fixed, it's a freewheel single speed. And uh, I'll see how it goes. I've been pretty curious about fixed gear riding in general. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for this challenge in terms of me uh, biking, riding fixed gear, at least on the street. Doesn't really make that much sense to me, to be honest. Uh, I think it's a good idea to be able to coast. And um, I don't know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but I'm going to try it out. Let's take a look at the bike and I'll show you what I'm starting with. Here we are, my unknown year, Olmo, Olmo bike. Uh, I did a tiny bit of looking online a couple weeks ago about this bike. It's uh, some kind of Italian bike. I have no idea about it. I don't know what year it is. I'm not very educated on guessing years of bikes, but if I were to guess, I would say, okay, this is a... 1984. If you know better, please let me know. Obviously it has the, uh, the old quill stem. I, I guess these aren't the original wheels. Sure, they're not the original wheels. And really there's not that much more t to the bike left because my friend, I think he he's the one anyway that kind of converted it uh, to fixed gear, kind of a city style. And I don't have the drop bars, I just have these tiny little, um, about 44 centimeters. Um, so, what do we have? We have Halo Twin Rail Courier Puncture Protection System. Uh, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the white, but I don't know if I mentioned it, this bike was free. My friend gave it to me, so beggars can't be choosers. And look at that, it has a warning of some sort. Oh, look at that, it's Halo tires as well, or, sorry, Halo wheels as well. Anyway, here's the, uh, the rear gear. <laughs> and here's the fixed one, and it looks to me like this has never been used. There's almost no wear at all on that, and that's also Halo. Well, for brakes, maybe I should mention that. We have only the front brake currently. Right there. No, no rear brake. So, also I just have a flat pedal and no way to retain it even though it has something there, but I don't have anything that will work on that. Okay, I think I've already ran into a problem with this project, of course. And it looks like we're missing some kind of lock ring because uh, currently, <laughs> if you try to pedal backwards, you can pedal backwards because because I think there's supposed to be some kind of lock ring there. The whole entire gear is being threaded in out when I pedal backwards, so I think there's supposed to be another piece here that locks this thing from rotating backwards. I'll ask my friend if he has that or anything, but for now, I think I'm out of luck. I'm going to look at it, take it apart, see if I'm missing something, but I think that we're missing a lock ring, which would allow this to actually be fixed. Last time you saw, um, when I tried to put it on the bike on the fixed gear cog, and when you tried to pedal it, it just unthreaded the uh, the rear cog, the rear gear. And uh, obviously that's not going to work. So I realized that I was missing the lock nut. Uh, I went on eBay and found this one here for just uh, $3.90 shipped to my house. And uh, waited who knows how long, I'll put it up here a month or so. And it finally came in. And uh, so... Today I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it on the bike and ride this fixed gear bike actually fixed for the first time. Uh, between then and now, I have been riding this bike pretty much every day to work and back. 
and it's actually worked really nice. I haven't done very much to it since you saw last. I put on these uh, Shimano M520 pedals, and I also threw on some foam grips that I put on almost all of my bikes. I just find them to be very comfortable and light and cheap. And I bought a one euro lock to secure the bike, so just the cheapest one I could find. All right, it is super hot in here right now. In fact, I hope there's no reflective surfaces because I'm literally just in my underwear and shoes right now. Anyway, okay, so here we are. That's enough of that story. Uh, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, get this gear on. Oh, let me show you something else I thought was kind of funny. Let me clean this disgusting mess of a shop table up a little bit and clean okay this this is what it came in that's it no box just a bag all the way from china thank you my chinese friends and inside of this bag was another bag and inside of the other bag was my gear which i didn't really need i just needed the this Hope like heck this uh, this is the right lock ring because if it's not that would be a super bummer. God, there's like hardly any threads available here. Oh my God, it's not the right one. What the heck? It doesn't fit. <sighs> this is becoming a nightmare. Okay, folks, I'm back, and as you can see, I rigged up a solution. I don't like it. I suspect I'm doing something ridiculously, stupidly wrong. I don't see how that lock nut would work. I don't know if this hub is something strange or what, but I'm almost out of time. So, um, in order to get this work, I realized that the gear that I bought was the same size, so I can use the gear as a lock nut. That's what I'm going to do. All right, we're fixed. I think that chain is pretty good. All right, um, so let me get dressed, go outside, and try this out. <laughs> 